<laughs> Hello, right now we're gonna start harvesting the four o'clock seeds. Again, this is a look. I just filmed uh, another retrieval of seeds for the cosmos. So if you're not aware of what this, what I got going on here, this is just getting my nighttime on. We are gonna learn how to do the four o'clock. First of all, this is kind of wild because this is one plant, this is another plant, this is another plant, this. So these are only about six seeds that came up and made it. Let me show you real quick the stalks on these and then I'll show you what the seeds look like. Look at that, it almost looks like a, just a big bone. And that is one, that is just one. And the other one is all the way over here. And so that's about six plants made all these. These are about a magenta e color. These ones are really pretty. They're almost all the way opened. Our four o'clocks are what? Seven o'clocks, really? <laughs> they open at seven. This one's so pretty. That one's one of my favorites. And the fun thing with these is they can actually, whenever one was planted that's white and pink, look what happens. They get variegated and spotted and they're so, so pretty. But that can happen whenever two seeds are together. The same thing can happen with the morning glories too. I'm gonna come over here just to show you some of the lighter pink. And then the yellow, and then this one is so fun. I don't know, this one reminds me of a hot air balloon or something. Look how fun and cute that is. And then there's the white ones that just so happen to mix with the yellow. So, now that I'm done with that, here is what the seeds look like right now. It is the middle of September, and we've had a really hot summer. So, um, these are coming in early, uh, so all you have to do is when you see these coming in, you just grab them. What I do is I like to grab um, this whole piece right here with the green on it, because if not, you could, if you were trying to thumb them out, you might drop them. And if you drop them and lose them, that just kind of stinks, but there is a way to just grab it without having to get the whole green. This thing before too long should be covered. This is just one of the first couple days I'm out here. And I thought I'd show you what just a few of these seeds can make. I wait for mine to seed their self is what these ones did. But yeah, you just come through and you pick them off. And they're so easy. And I'll probably have another video of how to plant them. So make sure to look out for that on the channel. You just gotta go whatever, Petra Bay is the channel. And yeah, and if you're interested in any seeds from these, I'll have a mix of these. And uh, that's probably how I'll sell them. I might even single these ones out just because they're so pretty. It'd be fun just to have one type of variety. So I think I might put these by themselves in their own little spot um, next year. They're just so pretty and fun. But yeah, uh, but the Etsy page is Seed Dealer where you can find the seeds for these. Oh, so pretty. And yeah, hope you're happy growing. Got a banana pepper? Yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's three. <laughs>